All right, guys, so I got the KTM 200. I think this is the XC. I don't know, I don't remember. <laughs> I'll put it in the description below. Uh, just a few things on this bike. Uh, one is the ergonomics, the handlebars. I got to push them all forward, so it's hard for me to stand up a little bit with my size. The handlebars are like all the way in the back, if that makes sense. So I'm going to be doing a lot of sitting down, which I'm not comfortable with. I like to be standing a lot more. Woo! This thing has a lot of bite. Still in the warm-up. Woo! This thing has a great bite. <laughs> Man, I wish I could stand. <laughs> it is very easy to get carried away. Man, this thing's fast. And if I was stand, if I could stand up, I'll go a lot quicker. See how I do on some of the choppy stuff. guys so I got two of my machines I got a 250 of this and a 200 250 <laughs> I would say more manageable more tract tractable power the 200 is just a fire breathing dragon it just wants to rip your arms out of your socket when you the minute you give it that throttle uh, so I'm gonna compare this guy to a more modern like te 250 I uh, I've ridden like modern 200s too they have a a uh, very similar feeling to the TE250Is and the KTM, the modern TBIs and TPIs and stuff like that. Um, hands down, uh, <laughs> if it's flat trails like this, I mean, this can do hard enduro uh, as well. But what I'm trying to say is hard enduro on this guy, it won't, it, I'd probably say it wouldn't, wouldn't be my preferred method. <laughs> I think this bike will be a lot more fun on this fast flowy stuff. Uh, it does have that low end tractable power. I'll probably do some some little laps here to kind of go over the machine and, and stuff like that and try to describe what I feel and stuff like that. Hands down, this has a huge, huge, huge fun factor. The only thing is, one thing I noticed right away from the new bikes, like the new modern TPIs and the older school KTMs like these, is the ergonomics. You know, of course, you could always fix it. Uh, the handlebars are more back but i think this is meant more for like sitting down just because you can kind of feel the ergonomics of the bike is meant a lot more meant for sitting down and, and stuff like that uh usually when like kind of like trail bikes when uh, the handlebars uh triple clamps and just the positioning of the forks and everything it's more angled down out this way and if you notice the new tpis they have more of an upright feeling for standing up for the hard enduro stuff so i think this bike was meant more for racing hair scrambles and like corks and all that stuff with a lot of turns and everything like that uh, because i'm a lot faster on this bike on these turns here than i am with the te 250i but we're going to take it for a quick spin i don't want to go too far just because i am by myself out here the biggest weakness on this machine <laughs> of course is the kickstand like all ktms uh, but I love this machine, you know, uh, usually kick starts first try. I didn't kick it hard enough, but but it does have the tractable power. Uh, it's very hard to focus to talk and ride with this bike because it has, you really got to focus. It's cool. That rear, the rear is just slipping. All right, guys, so I'm going to de now demonstrate the low end because we all know this thing kicks but uh i don't know what gear i'm in let me see all right first gear second gear third gear so this is third gear logging up fourth gear we are going uphill too uh, i'm going pretty slow right now fourth gear logging up i mean it can still pick up speed <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even trying. Fourth gear, still able to go through. 
And I'm just gonna destroy these tires by the end today with this bike. I gotta take it easy because I just got brand new tires and I checked my tires and they're already bald. <laughs> Not bald, but they're already <laughs> crumbling up. And I'm using Trackmasters, by the way. Man, and then the hits are great. Like the hits on the suspension. I am using a thicker oil. I did revalve it. Not revalve it, but I resprung it to my weight. Yeah, this thing is... I could imagine this, this bike on a, with an A-Rider. I probably had so much fun. brakes are very touchy very similar to the enduros I guess well this is kind of an enduro the little jumps are a lot of fun I'm just being careful here because of the uh, a bunch of side-by-sides on this road like razor turbos so I think I'm in fourth or fifth gear you can probably notice I still pick up speed like nothing. Like it doesn't take much throttle and I still go. <laughs> Man, this bike is a lot of fun. The only thing I would change, honestly, is just the air, uh, what do they call it? They're like the, the handlebars that push you, push it a little bit forward. That's probably the only thing I...